This video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online community with thousands of great classes for creators. Ahoy! It's time to talk about money. In today's video, I want to talk about submitting stock photos and videos to stock agencies. Not separately though, because if you contribute to many agencies, this will take forever. I know that because I've been doing stock since 2007 and I submit to Shutterstock, Getty, Adobe, Dreamstime, 123 Royalty 3 and many, many, many others. Now, I'm also a full-time YouTuber, one person production, one person does it all. And it's very difficult to explain how much time actually this whole YouTube takes, unless you really do it. You have to really do it to be able to experience it and to know what it takes. And I haven't uploaded to stock for about two and a half years. I had to stop because I simply had no time and I regret it especially now because I have so much great footage sitting on a hard drive and so many great photos and it's collecting dust, but I would like to collect some money because stock for me, it's a great side income. I have to have many different income streams to be able to do this full time. And that's one of them. Even though I haven't uploaded for two and a half years, I'm still making decent money from, from stock. So I've been looking for a solution, a service where I can upload all the photos and videos at once to all stock agencies, and submit it. Or even better, I was looking for a service where I would literally dump all my photos and videos on their head and let them deal with the rest. I mean, they would do all the keywording, metadata, description and all that and submit it for me. I wouldn't have to do anything, just literally pass the stuff to them. And I found a few services. To some, this might be quite helpful depending on how much help you are looking for. All these services offer something different. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Zdenka Kadarla. If your passion is photography and video, consider subscribing. Let's start with services for those who have the most time on their hand and they also want to control everything. To services for those who have the least time on their hands, but they are willing to accept the fact that they will not have so much control over their files. Now, all those services are going to be listed below in a video description, so you don't need to write them down. Number five is Dropstock. This software is here to only help you with uploading your files to multiple agencies. You can submit photos, videos, and vectors. It doesn't help with the submission process. That you have to do yourself. If your stock agency offers FTP access, such as Shutterstock, Dreamstime, 123 Reality 3, then you can use this service. Dropstock says that it supports about 40 stock agencies. So how does this work? You will use your Dropbox account where you will create a folder where you will be placing all photos and videos. You will give access to Dropstock to this folder. Once you sync the new files, Dropstock will automatically upload it to all stock agencies you enabled. It does save time because I used to upload via FTP to each agency separately and it was taking forever. It is also helpful when you are traveling, if you have a slow internet connection or if you are limited on data. This will be one of the good solutions. They also offer free services such as keyword suggestion tool, CVS batch keywording tool, here you can upload your keywords, video files via this CVS file. They also offer keywords research tool. So how much does it cost? One gigabyte of data is free and it gets reset each month so you can try it out. If you need more data, you can purchase Starter, Pro or Pro Plus package, which doesn't expire. This will give you either 20, 10 or 5 cents per gigabyte. Number four is Xpix. It's very much the same like Dropstock. It is software which allows you to upload via FTP, photos, videos, and vectors. However, they offer a bit more when it comes to metadata and management of your files. First, let's look at the pricing. Basic is free. It doesn't come with support, only access to community support. It is for one user, core features, and limited files. It doesn't specify what the limited files are. You can buy a pro license for one user for 29 and it is a one-time payment or pro for teams version, which costs 199 and it's for 10 users. So you don't have to pay for data transfer like with Dropstock. If you buy a pro license, you will get access to these features, 
priority support, you have a question, send it over to them. Background upload, you can keep uploading as you are preparing or keyboarding more files. Color tag filtering, upload history. You can see where and when you uploaded files to stock agencies so you don't run into duplicate uploads. Settings sync means that you can synchronize settings between different computers, import metadata into your old files from CVS. You can also set the price for videos during CVS export if you end up adding a column with custom value. SVG files support, you can organize your presets into groups, you can create custom FTP directories, you can restore the last session on startup and batch delete keywords. Number three and two is Stock Submitter and Microstock Plus because they were created by the same team and they actually also work together. But first, let's talk about the Stock Submitter. Stock Submitter is a desktop software for Windows. Mac users can use the online version. This service will allow you to do everything from one place. You don't even need to visit each agency separately. You can upload photos, videos, and vector files, do all metadata here, submit them, and even check approval and track your sales. They have a quick metadata tagging system which allows faster processes, and you can also save all this for future files. Okay, how much does it cost? Free option has 33 submissions a month. That means that you can submit 33 files to agencies. So if you work with 10 agencies, you will submit 33 files to all 10 agencies. Starter is 333 euro a month and it will get you 100 submissions. Light costs 666 euro a month and it will give you 250 submissions. Casual is 1333 euro a month and will get you 400 submissions. Professional is 30 euro a month and you will be able to submit 1000 submissions. Unlimited costs 37.50 euro and you can submit unlimited amount of files. I have placed Microstock Plus on the second position because if you want to still control your own keywords, metadata and all that, this could be probably the best service. It is very similar like the stock submitter, but there is still a bit of a difference. It is a combination of Microstock Plus with stock submitter. With stock submitter, you have to have your computer on at all times if you want to upload. With this, you don't have to. It is cloud-based service, which is perfect if you are always on the go or if you travel. You just upload it to them and they distribute it to all stock agencies. The same applies here. You can check submission status of your photos, vectors and videos, see sales and analytics and also use their trends prediction tool. Okay, pricing please. This seems to be a little bit more expensive. However, you're gonna get access to both Microstock Plus and Stock Submitter. Free account is the same and gives you 200 gigabytes free storage. It allows you 33 submissions a month. Light plan costs 10 euro a month and you can upload 250 files. Casual plan costs 20 euro and you can submit 400 files. Professional plan costs 40 euro and you can submit 1000 files. Now all these plans only allow one account. If you need unlimited with two accounts, the cost is 60 euro. For six accounts, which are corporate, is 150 euro. And for 21 accounts, which would be studio, it is 300 euro a month. To be able to access the trend prediction tool, you need to buy this separately. 330 euro per novice, 660 for pro, and 20 euro a month for guru. If you need to purchase storage, you can do that as well. One terabyte the month, which is Mercury for 10 euro. 2 terabytes, which is Mars for 20 euro, and 4 terabytes, which is Southern for 40 euro. If you are enjoying this video, you might also enjoy more classes at Skillshare. Thank you very much, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. There are always new premium classes being launched. There are no ads, as it is specifically curated for learning. You can learn anything about illustration, graphic design, photography, animation, fine art, marketing, and much more. I recently watched class Lifestyle Photography Capturing Inspiring Visual Stories by Marta Marie Forsberg. 
perfect class, especially for stock photographers as lifestyle photos sell quite well. In this class, you can learn how to shoot at home at cafe, how to find the story and all about lights and details. Quite an interesting class. The first 1000 people who use this link in my video description will receive one month free trial to Skillshare Premium. You can find the link in the video description below so you can explore your creativity. Number one is Wirestock. Wirestock is quite similar to Blackbox, except that Blackbox is only for video files, so I didn't include it here. Wirestock accepts both photos and videos. They don't accept vector files. I placed it as number one as it is for those who have absolutely no time to submit. Like I said before, it is for those who want to dump all files on them. Let them do all metadata, keywords and all that. How much does it cost? You're not going to pay anything up front you will have to share revenue with them, which means that you are not going to pay anything unless you sell. But once you sell, they will keep 15% of your earnings. What you also need to keep in mind that the files are not going to your personal accounts. It is going to their account on seven stock agencies. The stock agencies they submit to are Shutterstock, Deposit Photos, Dreamstime, Adobe Stack, Alami, Pwned5 and 123 Royalty Free. You won't have much control over your files. You cannot delete them whenever you want to. So if you're going to choose the service, just make sure you really read the terms of services. Well, what am I doing? It was very difficult to decide because I've done it for so long. I know how important it is to have control over your files, especially if there are people in the shots. Models tend to change their mind for whatever reason whenever they want to. So for that reason, I prefer to have access to stock agencies. On the other hand, I really have no time and I had to really think wisely, financially mainly, where would make the most sense for me to invest the most time. So what I'm doing, I'm using stock submitter for the better stuff and for files, photos and videos where there are models in it. For the OK files, which I really don't care about as much. And those are like the snapshots or whatever I'm doing on the go. I'm testing the wire stock. I want to see if they're able to sell, how much they are able to sell, how it actually all works and all that. I already have a few videos and photos there and I'm curious to find out right now. I don't have the answers. All links to these services can be found below in the video description. Hit the thumbs up if you found this video informative and subscribe to future videos like these. If you have any questions, comments, Leave them below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.